Hello all. In today's video, we will see what is random sample and we will also learn how to use random number tables. The notes for this video have been provided in the download link. A random sample is one in which each unit of population has an equal chance of being included in it. For example, let us consider a population of 10 persons and we want to have a sample of 3 persons, that is sample size of 3. So what we do is, we randomly select any 3 person without any bias and they form part of the sample. This is what is called as random sampling. Now coming to lottery method. In lottery method, let's suppose we want to select C number of candidates from a population size of P. So what we will do is that, we will assign numbers from 1 to P to each candidate and write their numbers on P number of slips. We will then shuffle these slips in a hat or a bag and randomly draw C number of strips one by one. The candidates corresponding to the number on the slip drawn will form part of the random sample. Let me explain this with an example. Suppose we have a population size 10 and we want to select 3 candidates. So here P is equal to 10 and C is equal to 3. So in first stage, we will allot the numbers 1 to 10 to each candidate and write their numbers on 10 slips which are homogeneous in shape, size, etc. We will then shuffle these slips in a hat and select 3 slips one by one. The candidates corresponding to the number in the slip will constitute the random sample. Now coming to Tippett's random number table. In case of large population size, we cannot rely on humans to generate random numbers. Tippett had published the first random number table in 1927. It consisted of 26 pages with 10,400 four-digit numbers taken from the British census reports. In random number table, any page of the table is selected at random and the numbers in any row or column or diagonal selected at random may be taken to constitute the sample. Now let us see how to use the random number table. Suppose you have 8 people and you want to select 2 out of them for an interview. Use random number table to select the two candidates. So in step 1, we will assign a number to each person. So we will assign the first person as number 1 and so on till 8. We can assign the numbers from 0 to 7 also. But here we will use 1 to 8. In step 2, we will go to the random number table and select any random number. Suppose we have selected 50595. Since we have labeled the persons with single digit numbers, we will select one single digit from the randomly selected number 50595. So first single digit number is 5. Hence we will select the fifth person. The next number is 0. Since we have not numbered any person as 0, we will just reject it. Next number is 5. As we have already allotted that number, we will reject this number. Next number is 9. As that number is not used by us, we will reject it. Again the next number is 5 and again as it has been already allotted, we will again reject it. Now we will select the next random number. So the next, next random number is 62509. So here we have selected 62509. So the next number is 6. Hence we will select the 6th person. Thus we have selected 2 persons randomly from a population of 8 people. This example dealt with single digit number. Now we will see an example with 2 digit number. Suppose you have 11 people now and you want to select 2 out of them for an interview. Use random number table to select the 2 candidates. So again like in the previous example, in step 1, we will number the people with 2 digit number.
in step 2 we will select any random number from the random ta number table suppose we have selected 02140 since we are dealing with two digit numbers here we will select two digit number unlike single digit in the previous example so the first double digit number is 02 so we will select this number this 02 corresponds to the second person so we will select the second person now coming to the next number that is 14 since 14 number is not there in our group we will reject this number the next number is a single digit number 0 so we will go and select another random number from the random number table suppose now we have selected 60867 so now 0 and 6 will form 0 6 number and so we will select the 6th person thus we have selected 2 candidates randomly from a population of 11 people this is how we use the random number table I hope now the process of selection of random number table or the random number from a random number table is clear to all of us that's all for today in the next lecture we will see frequency distribution thank you